Um, we got that. We got that. We got that. I think this is a pretty cozy little room quarter. Oh, we need a desk though. We do need a desk. Um, we need a computer desk like that. Uh, maybe we should just make this one more of a grey colour. Well, my desk is brown in real life because it's wood. Can we make it a? Can we make it a brown colour? Yeah, and then didn't we have a wood kind of? There we go, a nice wooden desk. Bit, bit of home, bit of earth in space. It's actually not bad of a wood color. Let's let's make these wood as well. I'm just gonna make that wood. There we go. It's a little bit more orange than I like, but I'll play around with the colour a little bit more later on. Um, lights also don't have much of a hitbox, that is true. Lights are very tiny. I use lights on my stairwells to connect uh, the stairs going up. So you don't have to have the, the um, stairs going up attached to like a wall or everything. They can just go up in a straight line. And then you can also light up underneath the stairs, looks cool. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Yeah, what do you think? You think this this is a good little crew quarter thingy, my Bob? I think I think it'll work. Now we just need to uh, we need to put in an air vent somewhere. I think we'll put the air vent in here. All right. Okay. Critical. Yeah, my energy is always critical, lady. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I don't. I think I'm about two, three thousand, maybe. How, how many hours am I in this one? I don't even know. And I'm always learning new designs and new techniques and new tips and tricks and things like that. Like, I didn't know about the light thing until just now. Um. I knew about the uh, the window thing, but yeah. It's an interesting little way of going about things. Okay, that's sweet. That should allow me to build a conveyor junction that goes up there and into here. Sweet. Okay. Um, land. I also got that damn gravity generator I kept talking about. Conveyor. I've lost it, Robert. There it is. They are. I can't grab it. There we go. Take a break. Take, play a crap of a shit ton of other games. They put a couple hundred hours ago to another game. Yeah. I, I do that. I kind of have a few games I put on like rotation. And it annoys everybody because just when everyone finally gets together and starts, we all start playing one game, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go play something else now. And then. Everyone's like, eh. <laughs> we just started playing. Okay, yeah, but I've been playing this for like five months now and I'm gonna need a break. <laughs> okay, we do that. Oh, I don't have construction components. What are you doing, industrial assembler? You're like just constantly taking a break. Um, let's see. You build a couple of those and then build a whole bunch of these ones. Alright. That is a lot of resources. I don't want you to build that much. Um, I don't know how I told you to build. I don't know how many I just told you to build. Uh, that was too much. Alright. Okay, so build two of those. And there we go. I think I told it to build like a thousand or a couple times. That's better. That's better. Okay. Now, is that refinery? Did that refine up all the nickel before? Inventory. Nickel. I've got one. Got nearly 3,000 there, and we got a whole bunch of, a little bit more of the raw stuff. So we got still got a bit of nickel going. Um, how much did we need for this one? Ugh, God, stop giving me that assembler, it's not even part of the thing. We need like 700, yeah, we got, we got, we got this, we got the stuff. Our iron is running low though. Uh, is it? Yeah, it is. Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, we're running low, oh no we're not, we still got all that iron ore that hasn't been processed. Whew, I had to worry for a second. 
Alright, let's get all of these other things welded up. Um, I need to have a Lego, a logo, a Lego, <laughs> a logo made for my channel, but I was surprised to see it, to see it at some point I streamed on here, but never kept going. Um, yeah, I've done that. Uh, sorry, I'm about to run out of oxygen. Oof. No energy. That was close. I mean, you gotta have a Lego, I'll go for something simple. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Yeah, I'd go for uh, something simple. Take a small nap, come back, and you have a whole base going. Uh, it happens. Um, we've been hard at work. Robert's been playing with pirates like 100 kilometers away, which I think has uh, let me live in peace for a while. That certainly helped. Uh, I started playing two months ago. Everything I built looks like it was designed in the USSR. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Uh, it took it takes a, took me quite a long time to start to build something that looked half decent. You just got to keep at it. You'll get there. It's once you figure out the patterns and how things work, it's not that difficult. It's a process learning. Unless it's just natural. Yeah, it, some people just get that. They just, the patterns all pop in their head and they can just envision everything and just out pops what they want. I I was not like that. I have taken, it's taken me years just to, I can get a vision and I can pop out something similar to my vision now. And then I just go from there. But hey, it's working. It works for you. And you know what, sometimes I find all the sleek design ships kind of boring. I like the more industrial looking ships, if I'm to be honest. That being said, I am going to be building like Star Trek design ships in this playthrough, in this stream series, because that's what I just said, and Star Trek ships are usually sleek and slimline, but we'll see how terrible that goes. So you'll actually get to see how bad my building is in this series. Um, yeah. And Robert decided to join, which is great, because you can see how bad his building is too. Weren't they, Robert? Oh my. No, 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 no. No? What are yes. you knowing to My do? buildings are. Uh, let's just let's put you two this way. Every time I build a building, it's mainly underground. I, I hide the design. <laughs> if they can't see it, nobody can can't judge, judge it. it. <laughs> The few times I build something out of out of the ground, it takes me months, sometimes years. Well, okay, in, in this case, weeks. I've been actually been on an airplane uh, streak, so I built a whole bunch of airplanes. Yeah, we gotta that big airplane you built. We gotta put in that build in that survival world, but that's gonna be that's gonna be work. I hate that. Like I, I spent like a week building that small grid, uh, like B seventeen, but I just. I don't think I'll ever use it. Not for this, anyway. Well, for this, for the Star Trek world, I can't imagine it fitting yeah, in Star, Star Trek. Trek. But the other world, maybe. I well, did yeah, this. Oh, it's problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's weak. Mm -hmm. it's, you have to use large grid to have the damage. I did a small scale Voyager. I think I did decent the source of the design for it. It all depends on scale. Uh, scale, yeah. You're not wrong. The bigger you make a ship, the much easier it is to do um, fine detailing work. When you try to make it small grid, uh, not a small grid ship, a small grid ship, they, they're amazing for making detail. But if you try to make a. Um, if you try to make a small, large grid ship, it, it gets hard to kind of shape it, if you will in the correct way. Eh, I've never actually done a small large grid. I mean you started one way back when, but... I like smart grid more than large grid. Large grid just seems too big. I'm sure it's kind of like this middle ground. Yeah. 
I think in Space Engineers 2, if that's what they're actually building, people aren't 100% certain if they're building the second one or if they're just making a massive patch for this one. I think they're making a second one. Um, I think they're doing it so you can build small grid, like you can ch change the size of the thing you want to build. So you can build from like a small grid size to a large grid size on this server and like everything in between or you can and you can attach them to each other and stuff. I could make a Borg cube. Now you say that, but thing with a Borg cube is if you ever actually look at a Borg cube, yes, from a distance it looks square and it is square. However, it has a crap ton of tubes and like different levels on the square across the whole thing. It's not flat. It's bumpy. There's also a business shipment flying in at like 100 meters a second. It's like 400 meters away from my base right now. It's interesting. They will be no grid size differences. Yes. Uh, from my understanding, you can basically take like this small grid and then attach it to a large grid as long as it snaps in like a grid formation onto that thing, if that makes sense. It, that's my understanding. It could be I could be completely wrong, and it could also I could also be right, and it could also change in the future. So, as always, everything with a big ass grain of salt. All right, so we're gonna need to put an airlock in here because I need to put airlocks on all my doors. Um, you know what? I kind of want to do this door, and I kind of want to do. Where's the other door? I've lost them. I have completely lost the doors. There they are. Yeah, I kind of want to do the sliding door. Good from a f far, but far from good. <laughs> hey, how did you know my secrets to my ships? I think Robert's been... I think Robert's been ratting me out again. Did you rat me out to people, Robert? Did you tell people my building secrets? Maybe time I get this hands. Bastard. I knew I should never have trusted you. Should never have returned you to the inner circle. That's displays. I can't build it because I don't have any displays. That's how Um, why aren't you building? I don't understand. Uh, industrial assembler. That. You go up there. Really? You're just silicon. Thank you. Okay, give me that. Sweet. Um, and we basically get the large slash small block like we do now, but supposedly there's going to be a smaller block? Really? Yeah. Why would you need a smaller block? I mean, that's a pretty small block. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to let them do them. I feel like that's the best way. Also, that's not a good sign that... Okay. There's no oxygen in here. Oh, I've got the H2 generator on the ship turned off. Uh, close that. We open that. The amount of times I'm going to vent this room to space, I don't know. It's going to happen quite a fair bit until I air pressurize this section. Because I do in, I do want to kind of... Um, I might pressurize everything. I don't know how I'm going to connect with that. Um, to that. We may end up like knocking out these two glass panels in the future. And then just connecting them... Um, to there or something, I don't know, but it's a future smoky problem for now. Basically a 5 meter block, a 1 meter block and a quarter meter block and that's how they put it. Okay. Um, so as a quarter meter, the quarter one would be good for making thin walls, like really thin walls. It would be annoying to place them down individually in, in survival mode, <laughs> but hey. H2 generator, that's turned off. Is that why, like, the other symbols? Nope, I don't know why you're not working. Why aren't you working? It's actually annoying me. Boom, boom, boom. You're connected. There's no real reason why you shouldn't be working on it. There, you come through there. Alright. That refinery works. That's working. That's working. You sound like you're making things, so is that the refinery refining? That's the refinery refining. And the assembler is apparently not doing anything. 
Why is the symbol not working? Um. It doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to work. Not my problem. That'd be rude. Okay. Oh my god, it's here. Energy low. Uh, what do you. You know. What? Let's turn the phasers on. <laughs> I, I'm not going to turn the phaser on on you. I was reading. <laughs> I was sneaking up on you for so long. I was like, when is he going to notice this giant thing? <laughs> well, I'm busy running backwards and forwards. I'm not paying attention to space. That's what my phaser arrays are for, but I turned them off because they draw a lot of power. So what do you think of my base, Robert? I don't, I don't even know where Let you are. Let me get out of this monstrosity. Listen, now I have another layer of defense. Look at this. What the hell? What kind of abomination is this? Hey, if it works for you, I suppose it works. I'm not going to judge. Look at my thing. Yeah, this is my base. This is the humble beginnings of the Smekarian Imperial Pirates. I mean, um, rescue and relocation services. Hi. Hello. Hello. I don't know where the things are. I was going to wave at you, but I can't remember where they are. And I'm tired. You got trees. I got trees. And I got, I got wheat. I got three trees, apparently. And wheat, and mushrooms, and vegetables, but there's nothing in them. Don't look too closely. It's like one of the. It's like that movie. Um, what was that movie? The Interview with Seth Rogen and uh, what's his name? And they go to North Korea and they drive past a. <laughs> they drive past a supermarket and it was like, oh yeah, happy, happy. And then he looks at it later and it's just it's all fake cardboard and not a real store. Because he's getting honey potted by King John, whatever. Yeah. So, what do you think of my base? I like it so far. Good. Tell me. It is homey. When are you gonna get your own base? Uh, nomad. Ah, oh, the nomad. I'm just gonna build this monstrosity up until I uh, until Energy I decide to. Critical. Well, honestly, I'm going to build my Star Trek ship and I'm just going to just slap this onto it. <laughs> I feel like you're going to get destroyed before that happens. I'm sorry. How dare you? This is not a forgiving universe that we live in right now, Robert. Um, I've got slabs. Uh, I don't think I have those. Um, no, God okay. damn it, I need food. Did they not give you food in Space Wars? They, they did in my other world. Um, do you have coordinates? So your asteroid has whatever this thing is called. Uh, uh, di um, di dilithium and aluminum. Dilithium. Do you know of another dilithium location? Um, I think I do, but I think it's pretty far away. That's fine. I'll uh, get the coordinates from you another day. Anyway, where can I park? And is there parking fees? Uh, you can park. Parking fees can be discussed at a later date. Um, basically, if you go, okay. So if you're Never like mind. flat with my base, right? I'm out of here. Okay. If you go to your left. Nope. Nope. No, no the asteroid. You go. No, Smell no. you later. Uh, the asteroid you're aiming for, I think, has iron uh, and magnesium. No Ooh, energy. Man, energy. This uh, one looks orange. I'm gonna go that one. Uh, if it has uh, orange, that would be dilithium, I think. Mean. That's what I think, but, you know, my eyes deceive me from this distance. Uh, you do have deceiving eyes. It's part of your you being a deceiver. Eh, well, it's a package deal. It's a fine base, thank you. I am enjoying it. I think it's coming along okay. It's not exactly pretty at the moment, but it is in its early stages. And in its early stages, things are usually not pretty. There is a vision. A very half assed thought out vision, but I have one. Um, yes. I still
still love the idea that you had no idea. And at first you didn't think it was me. It was huge. <laughs> I don't know how I, I didn't notice it. It was just like I didn't realize that the uh that I still had the business shipment beacon. And when the when you uh mentioned it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be fun. I saw it. I did say there was one that was like three hundred meters. <laughs> I just didn't think it was by. you because yeah. Was I thought we were at war. We guess we're not at war. No, I, I offered peace. Oh, then I would have automatically accepted it. Yep. Boo! I mean, yay! Yay! That's great. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Peace with my neighbors, and coexistence, and a long, happy life. Also, I don't know why I'm not getting any. God damn. Have you got any wheat or soya beans or anything? I know you haven't been doing the looting. I have no food. I'm a miner. I'm a nomad miner. Surviving off the rations of the world. Mm -hmm. I'm surviving off the paid potato chips of the world. I haven't had a single potato chip yet. I mean, I have them. I just don't eat them. Interesting. And I died. I think the, uh, the door closed on me. And snap my neck. <laughs> Free loot! <laughs> Free loot! I mean, rescue operation. Free rescue operation. There's a ship and, um, out there in distress, and I need to go rescue it. I died again. Why are you dying all the time? It was a spawn kill. Oh. For my ship. Oh, you're spawning without your um, jetpack. With the inertial damper turned off, and you're slapping into the wall, I think. Yeah. Uh, you can see. Uh, inertial damper's on. Where's my body? There's two of them. Uh, business shipment, don't go anywhere. <laughs> don't leave me. <laughs> there we go. Got this nice little air walking around area here. All right, I think we're coming along quite nicely now. Um, why is people messaging me? Don't message me. Okay, I love you people, but I also nice uh, you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, progress has been made. That's the fine base. Okay. Can I build... How much silver do we have? Are we able... We've got 759 silver. If we were to build... I don't know why this assembly's not working and it's bugging me. Uh, how much power do you have if I disconnect you? Excuse me. Trust the door. Okay. You have currently two hours of power. Nope. Seventeen hours of power. Oh, let's just turn this refinery off. Don't really need that refinery to be running. I have two refineries on the base now that are both operating quite efficiently. Who are you making cobalt? Why do you have so much cobalt? Why did you take all the cobalt? So rude. Other people need cobalt too, you know, ship. Right? You can't just take it all. It's not cool. Not cool at all. Alright, we're gonna park this ship off the side somewhere in a sec. Um, my dampener's off? Why are my dampener's off? God damn it. Yeah, it's fine. Why are my dampeners off? That's so. This weird bug keeps happening. Uh, I don't know how I fixed it. F8 last time. F6, Z, control, Z. Oh, God. I wonder if there's like a, some sort of storm effect going on that's affecting my dampeners. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Oh, F10, what's that weather? 
There is no weather. I'm in space. Why would they say that there's weather? I don't know why my dampers aren't working. And I don't like it. Um. Yeah, I really don't like this. I don't like it at all. There is space particle effects flying on my screen. They're very tiny and hard to see. But they are there. And it's making me sad. And I do not like it. Whatever. I'm sure it's fine. It won't, it's not going to be at all annoying. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this with everything that I am. Alright. Can we make, before we make anything else, production, industrial assembler, sweet, you're not connected to the base anymore, the other one that's annoying me. Can I make a gravity generator by any chance? Alright. Have we got the stuff? Um, it's solar, solar winds, and uh, it would be affecting your inertial temperatures. How do you see this? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't tell me every time, but it has told me in the past. And I and I have very clear particles where I'm at. Huh. Are your dampeners working on your spacesuit? I wasn't in the spacesuit, but uh, part of the message was saying that um, it'll, uh, it'll move you or it, it something. I forgot the exact message, but what I got out of it is it'll push you. Huh. Annoying. <laughs> very, very annoying, sir. Oh well, that is what it is. We have to live with it. There's nothing we can do about that. Now, are you making my gravity generator? Did you make the gravity components? I'm gonna assume you did. Alright, let's do go. Do I know what? Titanium. I... You know how I said from freaking how far am I? Where's Smokey? Smokey. Where are you? I have too many beacons. Oh, there you are. I spotted the lithium with my bare eyes from 32 kilometers away. Yeah, the bit the bright orange stands out, doesn't it? I'm happy about that. I have gravity, Robert. Finally, have gravity. You now you don't have to store my dilithium. That makes me feel better. Yep. I don't even have any dilithium on it. Oh, I must have mined dilithium at some point. Yeah, I got 20k worth. Plus a little bit of refined. Good, good. Alright, uh, what are we gonna do now? We got, we got a bed. We got that medical room. I was gonna build the medical room. Um. Medical, can we get one of these up, bam, large steel tubes, oh, insufficient space, and, okay, well, we're going to put this, um, you don't have a connector, you have a connector on the back, okay, this is odd, um, it's upside down too. Is everything always falling upside down? So the connector is in that back two corners there. So we could put this like this, and then I could just get rid of that full. and build the convey the medical bay there. I think that's that'll work. Um, but first things first, I need to put that there, put that there, pick that up, go there. We need a conveyor. A again because I do. There we go. Um, nope, that was a thing. That's the conveyor. Bam. Pull it out. Place. Sweet. Grind. Put. Place. Weld. Steel. Weld. Steel tubes needed. Production. Make some steel tubes. Good girl. Give me. I don't know why I call it a good girl. That's weird. I have a mid bay. Alright. I have a mid bay. 
I am moving up in the world. Are you proud of me? I'm getting there. Get I'm trying it. to figure out what gun I want to make. You make what? what? Like, what's a good gun? Base cannon. Cheap enough. They're expensive to run. What's the problem with it? Yeah, I know, but I have. I need to make it where this thing will survive when I leave, when you go, and then people will might attack it. So I need some type of gun. So oh. now it's telling my refinery to do nothing but green. But I need, I need, I need an OP gun to stick on this thing. What I think you should do, what I will allow you to do, is take a blueprint of it. So if you do spawn in and it's been destroyed, you can just place another one. Mm, okay. But for that moment only. So you can only yeah, take a blueprint then just before you log out. Yes, but uh, at the moment, what, what gun did you use? Are you using? Phaser Array Mark 1. I've yet to see it fire, so keep that in mind. And I do know it uses uh, a ridiculous amount one. of power. And you need a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of stuff. Star Trek related yeah. components. By a whole bunch, I mean a small amount. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make whatever the freak this thing is. Oh, and just uses energy so you don't need a connection point. That's handy. Yeah, that would be handy. That indeed would be handy. Indeed, rudy, rudy, roo. Handy. Dandy, randy, mandy. A big old bit of sandy. I don't know what I'm doing. My brain's into the jelly part of Space Engineers, I think. We've got that gravity, we got the you know, thingies, I said. I was gonna try to see if I can make a large reactor. Yeah, I reached the jelly part a while ago, but I'm obsessed with we catching up. A lot of gravel, a lot of iron ingots. Like, like my somewhere. goal is literally, I'm gonna finish up this behemoth build. Gravel will find. And build me a little yeah. Star Trek scout ship. So maybe and then, and then come to you and be a uh, be a friendly nomadic person. I'll come and help you with resources, and we'll have reasonable, good trade. Um, sure. Which is pretty much if you need something, if I have it, I'll give it to you. If I need something, you have it, you'll give it to me. Assuming that neither one of us needs whatever we're giving. Sure. Sounds fair to me. I totally won't. I swear that I will not abuse that arrangement. Totally not at all. I would never abuse it. I wouldn't would be excited. I wouldn't have a whole freaking fleet. I think I wouldn't do a Klingon ship. Is going to be a Klingon? It is. I seriously thought about it. I seriously thought about it, but the, I can't get past the super weakness of the bird of prey neck. <laughs> For a warrior race, I don't know what they were thinking. I think that's, was it. Um, was it the Cleans that stole the design from the Romulans? I can't remember. I think the the Klingon ships uh, were originally a Romulan design. I think. I know some of them yeah. were. And, uh, and I know the Klingon and the Romulans used some Klingon designs. I can't remember. Alright. Now that we got that, I really should build an independent H uh, oxygen system on this base. Uh, so let's see, can I actually build a H2 gen? The lithium isn't. Duranium. What the heck is Duranium? Uh, Duranium is a object that is something that is used. You have yeah, you found Duranium or? Mm, no. And I promise I would tell you if I had. I probably have found her anyway. I'd be surprised if I hadn't. Give me a quick look. I needed to build stuff. Uh, 
Um, I thought they were just the lithium the other thing. There's uranium there, and uranium, iron, magnum, uranium over there. Uh, uranium there, uranium there. Okay, uh, open up one of the coordinates, I'll take a picture. It's iron and uranium over there. Uh, 12 kilometers out. I don't know which one that would be though. Iron and uranium, I think I called it. So it'd be that one. Looking, we can, don't want to take a selfie. I don't want to see my face. Nobody wants to see your face, Robert. Ooh, sick burn. Gonna need some ointment for that one, buddy. I don't know, I'm tired. <laughs> Have you got it? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Um, what was I also doing? H2 gen. We got that. We're gonna need some oxygen containers. Oxygen tanks. Container, tank, same thing. We don't have enough stuff. We need large tubes and small tubes. Um, large tubes and small tubes. You go there. You go there. Okay. Need like 23 small tubes and 12 large tubes. Right. Oh, did you make it or did you just like be a douche and you're being a douche? Stop it. Stupid thing. I think Izzy was trying to punish me. You have sufficient space and character inventory. Okay, I'm just being stupid. Oh man, how am I gonna. Yeah. Um. Okay. that then I just put like uh, that there and that there and you can hold that you can hold that and I grind that and then ah oh, crap it's fine put that there well that there give me that then put that into that and well that then grind that and then put that there like so all that what we have grind that one and that one put a T junction in there like so grind that go over here you have the bits I still need 23 small steel two large tubes Quite empty. Make this a little bit easier on myself. Um, okay, I can carry 19. I need more than 19. All right. Stop being rude and give me the 23 that I need. 27. Thank you. That will do. Okay. Bam. Create an oxygen tank. Alrighty. What year is it? Now, how much ice do we have on this base? We have 98,000. Is that really all the ice we have? I thought I got a bit more than that. Unless we used some of it. I can't remember. I don't remember if we used some of it. Alright, Robert, what are you up to? I'm heading towards the Durithium, but we can go in and call it. Uh, once you get there, I think we'll call it. I think we'll wrap up at that point. I'm going max speed, so straight into the sun, which means I'm getting power. Yeah, I like the power and gold. I'm gonna continue this like super long design. It's gonna look like it's gonna look more like a um an avatar ship. There was a ship in Voyager, an alien ship that was a generational ship, and that was like a very long design that had like detachable sections on it. Oh. Oh. I'm starting off with a multi-generational ship. Technically this can't be detached. The merge blocks are still there. I never got rid of them.